Oh my god, I'm so excited! Loki's gonna get the bland back together! That's right, I said bland. Oh, we're gonna talk Loki episode 5. Uh, <laughs> that's right. So, if I told you, and obviously spoilers if we're talking about it, even though nothing happens, that at the end of the last episode, that everybody would be not obliterated, but put back in their exact starting places. Giant revelations. Things I could not believe happened. My lols, Loki is a great show. I'm just kidding. It's super boring and super slow and nothing has happened and I'm totally bored. But I'm reviewing it anyway. So tell me how you really feel. Oh my gosh. What, what plot would you like me to discuss? Because nothing happens in this episode. Remember the thing that was happening in the first episode, the time slipping? Well, now it's back again. And in this, instead of using a machine to fix it, again, spoilers, folks, Loki just fixes it. It's just fixed. It's not about the whys. It's about the whos because he loves his friends and he has fifis for them. Oh, good Lord. What a terrible episode. <laughs> Let's take a look and see just how terrible this episode was. Gonna bring up an article. Gonna bring it up. That's right. All his best friends are all together. It's the band back together. Oh my god. Loki season two, episode five recap. Let's get the band back together. <sighs> One thing I will say, I, I will say about the show. Um, I think it's directed fine fine and i think that the production whoever does the production set design mwah, i love it it's awesome freaky 80s aesthetics with awesome corridors like whoever's doing it you guys are doing a great job keep it up i want people who worked on this to feel good about themselves as far as, far as the costume design yeah oh loki finds his friends oh, my god this is so bad. I just, I can't. I Like, there's nothing to discuss. All that happened at the end of the previous episode, TVA looks like all of time is going to end. It's all going to consolidate into one timeline, which doesn't seem so bad. You don't know what Kang you're going to get there. You could get original flavor, fla f flavor Kang, or you could get extra spicy Kang. You don't know uh, what you're going to get. They claim there's gonna be a war with infinite Kangs, but there's no infinite timeline. There's it looks like, and I'm I'm just looking at what they're showing me. Looks like all the branches are being pruned into one timeline. Right? And then the TVA is destroyed, so there's nobody to interfere. Don't know, don't don't know why. Well, let me tell you, everybody gets put back into their this is the th this article. This is from Screen Rant. No, it's from Collider. The most major character growth we've seen in Loki's character since we first met him in 2011. Oh my god, he got in touch with his Fifi's. This is so bad. I think it was 47 minutes, and he spends 30 minutes of it meeting everybody at their original timelines that are going to get destroyed anyway, which doesn't make any sense because he saw the destruction of the timeline. Are they saying that he puts the TVA to get? Like, none of it makes sense. Stupid. Don't care. I'm just, I'm just, don't interest, I'm not interested anymore. So he goes to see, and everybody's all over the place. They're, they're all into different times and stuff. So he, he meets, uh, in 1962, he finds Casey, the guy that we barely even know. This isn't the Casey we know. Dude said five lines the entire show. But it's Frank. He's a career criminal. Whoop-de-woo. He sees B-15. She doesn't even have a name. Her name is just B-15. 
she's a strong whammon and she's a doctor. Dr. Willis in 2012, New York. Oh, okay. See, OB is an author scientist named A.D. Doug in 1994 Pasadena. He finds Mobius, now named Don, at a jet ski shop in Cleveland, Ohio. How does that make any sense? I mean, maybe there's lakes in Cleveland. You tell me in the comments below because I don't know. In 2022... Uh, he explains things to Obi, and Obi's like, we have to cut everybody back together so we can all be friends again. <laughs> we, and then Loki's like, here's the book you wrote. Because he just keeps handing out the same, that book has been handed out to so many, everybody and their mom knows how to build a time loom. You know how to build a time loom. I know how to build a time loom. Kang knows how to build a time loom. Obi knows how to build, a, everybody knows how to build a time loom at this point. <laughs> I just can't can't with this show. Ah, it drives me bonkers. Um, again, I like the production design. Oh, <laughs> so he finds everybody, and they're all like, "Yeah, let's go back. Let's get this thing back together. Let's do it." And then Sylvie's like, "I'm in 1982 McDonald's, and I'm gonna have." I'm going to have cut off sleeves. I'm going to drink and work at McDonald's. You ain't going to stop me because you know what? I like this. I'm loving it. I'm Mick loving it. Are you kidding me? This is. <laughs> I want you to keep in mind, though. Mobius asked him for a drink and he said no. Sylvie asked him for a drink and he said yes. That was character growth right there. So she's like, I'm selfish. I want to do what I want to do. And he's like, well, I want to be with my friends. She's like, well, then you're selfish too. That is not what selfish is being. Being with your friends does not seem like selfish. Sharing, it seems the exact opposite of selfish. Giving up your time to be with your friends, to support them, seems like non-selfishness. Just saying. Now, the whole idea of pulling them out of wherever they are, but you could put them right... I, d I don't know how this got approved as a script. I don't know how the show... I, nothing has happened. Absolutely nothing happens. And then... Whatever. She puts on the Velvet Underground. Oh, sweet nothing. I guess. I didn't recognize... Everything spaghettified. I don't care. I don't care. There's not even enough Kangs for me to care about this. I just don't care anymore. This is so boring. They don't even say, like, the only time we'll think is the day you get her. It took our germs. Please, somebody fire the writers on this show. This is the worst. It's so bad. Tell me what you think. I, there's literally no plot to discuss. I would love to go over the fascinating and intriguing plot. I literally just got done watching an anime called Pluto on Netflix, which is fantastic, has plot for days, goes all over the place. It explores fascinating science fiction things like what does it mean to be human? If a robot has sentience, can it have feelings? All those fun. This is nothing. They just nothing. They talk nothing. There's nothing. So. Let me know what you think. I'm going to keep ranting about it. I got one more to go. Got to get it done because I'm the guy, apparently the only person on earth who's still reviewing this damn show besides Film Threat. They apparently are, they watched the first four and then decided to watch five. And then I haven't heard their review yet, but I'm sure they say that it sucks. So let me know what you think in the comments below. We are monetized. Like and subscribe. We appreciate it. You could join us. Join. Get your degree in Orcaversity you know, orcness, those great things. Catch us. Uh, you get uh, you get a lot of perks. We don't know what they are yet, but we'll give them to you if you want them. You can get early release on videos. You get all sorts of fun stuff. Maybe you can even join us on the show. I don't know because I don't make the rules, but YouTube does, and YouTube is great. But 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday nights is when we do our live stream podcast. Come join us. It's a lot of fun. You can also check out our audio version. It's on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those places and more. But in the meantime, I'm on to the next one. Ah.